Hey, what's up guys, Mike here back with another video. And today we're gonna check out the Digital High 7.0 Nougat ROM for the Nexus 6P. Once you dive into your TWRP custom recovery, you're gonna go ahead and select install and flash and you're going to select that Digital High 7.0 zip file. Then you're gonna swipe over and this is gonna launch an Aroma installer, which is a custom automated self script. And this is gonna give us some pretty baller options here. So the first one up here is the update bootloader, which is going to allow you to flash the NuGet radio in bootloader. That'll automatically be selected. You'll just hit next on the bottom there. And we get our second option menu here, which is the wipe option. So you can do a full wipe, an update, or a dirty flash. Now be careful what you select here. I normally recommend a clean flash, which is the full wipe but you do have some options. Next up is the add-on. So there's some pretty nice additional features that are built in with this. So we have the built-in Super Sue. Now it's not gonna be Chain Fire's method, it's gonna be Magic's or something like that, but you can actually disable it and wipe or put your own Super Sue if you want to. And then we do have Substratum, which is basically a theme engine. You have the ability to flash the Nexus launcher for your launcher settings, your ad free for Android, which is an ad blocker, and Elemental X and some other features here. So the next file, or option is your actual maximum frequency CPU. So this is for the smaller cluster on the A53 CPUs. You can underclock or overclock these. And the next file over is the actual larger cluster from the A57 CPU. So you can actually downclock or overclock these specific CPU values on the Elemental X kernel. And then once we get past this, we have our disk settings. Now the default is set at FIOPS and the read ahead buffer size is doubled up at 1024 from the original 512, but you can select whatever you want here from these option menus. So that's pretty sweet. Next over is the wake gesture. So you can enable sweep or double tap to wake options. And below that we have some haptic feedback options that you can enable or disable as well. Next up after that is the sweep to sleep gesture. So you can actually do sweep to sleeps if you want to, that's gonna be up to you guys. Hit next on that, and then we have our other settings. So you can disable F-Sync or enable F-Sync, be careful with that one. And then you also have the toggle backlight dimmer, which will smooth out your auto brightness transitions. That one will be auto selected, so just go ahead and hit next there once you're ready. And then we have some pretty cool debloater options here. Now this is an app removal tool, keyword removal. So this is going to remove what you select. So be careful there. You're not selecting to install, you're selecting to remove. But you have some nice options here to remove and debloat. So go about that, and then you hit next. And then we have our finalized step here. So you just hit install once you're ready. And this will do an automated script and actually flash the ROM and the customization values that you selected. Once this completes, it will automatically clear your cache. So don't worry about doing that in TWRP. It will do it all for you. And then this will automatically go back to TWRP once you hit finalize or finish. And then you'll just reboot your system. Let this boot up. And then you'll go through your automated Android setup. And then you'll get into your actual ROM, which is pretty dope in my opinion. Now from here you will get, you know, some basic customization. You're not going to get anything too carried away right now because this is a very early version of Nougat in terms of the ROM. You will have Substratum built in, so it's a theme engine if you selected that option, and you will have the Nexus launcher and some other things if you selected those options as well. So it's actually pretty nice in terms of customization. It's not, you know, full stock, you get a little bit more, and you will have Super SU, of course, Super SU. Now, if you're curious about what Substratum theme I'm using, I actually just recently discovered Outline, which is pretty dope. Uh, it's about $1.50-ish on the Google Play Store. I'll leave a link in the description with everything else. And you can download this, you can set specific values, uh, specific colors, so you have, you know, material, you have the outline colors, and then you have pastels. And then you also have a couple other options to choose from. And you can change everything from your actual colors on the top of your setting bars, to your assets, uh, to your actual volume rockers, to your built-in customization text. And some of the apps will even have some colors built in as well. And you'll also see some of the icons on the top and the nav bar at the bottom specifically is outlined as well. So it's a little bit thinner than the regular stock experience nav bar, which I really, really like. I think it looks pretty dope, but that will be up to you guys. So I'm using the outline theme. I'll leave it in the description, as I mentioned, and you will have Super Sue that is automatically installed with this ROM, unless you deselected that option. You can install Chainfire Super Sue if you want to and go about using that if you want. That'll be completely up to you, but everything's built into this for the most part. Anyway, guys, that pretty much wraps up the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Definitely feel free to leave feedback down below in the comments section. Hit that description for the files. Hit the like button like a boss if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel to show your support. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one.